but it seems like the female directors are still, there's a hindrance there. And that whole sort of percentage of women moving up in their careers has not followed with directing. Maybe so, more so with documentaries, mm -hmm. not narratives. I, well, I think it, it's surprising to me that it's um, there. There are more women producers than directors, and in fact, the percentage of women directors, even in the Directors Guild, is appallingly low. Um, but I think Catherine Bigelow might have helped to to change that somewhat. And I think in television, there's a, a difference, um, and it just is a little perplexing to me why why women rose as producers of film more than directors. I would have thought it would be the other way. I don't know. Well, do you think in some sense, and, and this is going to sound strange, but it's more of a pink collar type of a thing, producer? You're handling more details that might be similar to a secretarial task? No. Whereas, no, you don't think so. Whereas no. behind the camera, and, and that's more... Well, I think the cult of the director has, has risen since the 60s and that the studios were complicit in it, were, you know, part of it. So, I mean, it went as it went. And, uh, you know, because prior to the 60s, it was really the producers. I mean, in a lot of films, you don't really remember who the director was. I think people don't really know the director of Gone with the Wind, for example. They think of the producer. Or you think of a Samuel L. Goldwyn or, of you know. Uh, so... Um, anyway, thing, things have changed in terms of, and, and uh, I don't know, I suppose for the better because it has put more into the hands of the more, the more creative, the director's, you know, decisions. But the producer's decisions are creative too. The, the producer can, you know, be deciding the location, the cast, the crew. So at the end of the day, the director now gets credit for all of that when it may well be the producer who put it all together. So I don't know. How do you think things will change? Or maybe they won't. Is this always going to be more of an exclusive boys club? Or do you think that down the line as, as just gender roles have changed? I mean, men are taking you know, jobs as, as stewards on airplanes and out of necessity, right. just the economy turning. And you know, men are staying home with the children while women... Uh, yeah. maybe. Well, I don't know how it will be in the future, but as mother, as a mother of two daughters, I would say it has not changed fast enough. Right. So, anything to fight those gender stereotypes that you can think of? Suppose you're on a set and you're asked to go get people coffee, and I know you've said that no one really has a role that's just exclusively theirs, and everybody pitches in. Um, but are there ways to nicely, or maybe not so nicely, fight those stereotypes? Well, I think in a way that, you know, society kind of gives women um, somehow creates an aura in which they don't really know how to propel themselves and they're not as encouraged to do it as men are. I think men are, you know, as boys, also I'm the mother of two boys, and the boys are kind of encouraged to, you know, to to win and to, uh, you know, to take charge and to, uh, so in, in ways that girls are not. And some, I'm racking my brain to think of s subtler examples, but which I can't, but, you know, we've all kind of experienced. Look, when I got married, um, my husband started using my credit card. So I called the credit card company and said I'd like to increase the amount that I could, you know, spend every month because I'm married now and my husband's using the card. And they said, oh, you're married? Oh, well, you can't have a credit card in your own name then. It has to be in your husband's name. Now, that was just something that everybody accepted because that was just how it was. I didn't accept it. I was just maybe a little feistier than the rest. And I said, well, if I don't have a credit card, then I'm not going to pay your bill. So please come after me because I'd just like to see what happens. And eventually I never paid the bill. And they would, people would call and say, you need to pay the bill. And I'd say, no, I'd like to go to court. Please sue me. And then that never happened. And then eventually they called every six months. And then within a few years, the law changed. 
But when you think about it, it was completely wrong. And that's, you know, that's in my lifetime. So, anyway, that's gone. Uh, I do think that women need to be encouraged more to put themselves forward and to toot their own horns and to, you know, go after what they want and not think, oh, I won't be able to do it. But it's a little daunting to come into a male-dominated arena and say, you know, my turn. Uh, But that's what has to be done, so...